Colin, I have to come to you first, and I'm sure you've been talking about the prosthetic that you wear as Penguin uh, to, to no end, but I want to hear, um, because your, your performance is able to come through in it incredibly. I've never seen anything like that before. But it also, the, the prosthetic and the look of Penguin and Oswald says something in itself. I want to hear from you. What do you think, what do you want the audience to take away immediately just upon seeing the look of the character and the design that they, they put over your face? I mean, it's human, you know, as a hu human beings, we make very knee jerk kind of um, judgment calls on people based on their appearance, right? We're told, we're taught to do that from a very young age. Um, sometimes it's a defense mechanism and it's a survival mechanism. Other times it's just a byproduct of kind of um, a social criticism that can be cancerous, I think. With that in mind, when I saw, you know, I had thoughts and ideas based on what Matt wrote in the script and what I read, but I was struggling to think what I could do with it and how I could inhabit it. And then I saw, Mike Marino's design for the character. And there was so much going on in the face. And it was so realistic, just from looking at the design. And then I tried it on, but there was the scarring, the pockmarked face. There was a sadness, there was a kind of an empathy that I felt when I looked at it. And Oz is somebody who, you know, can be terrifying. He has a propensity for violence. But you know, like the majority of human beings on the planet, inside him there is a brokenness that Matt wanted to explore. And I think that Mike represented so much. So when I saw the, the actual makeup for the first time, the penny started to drop on, on what drove this man, what his, what his life might have been like before when he was a young man, when he was a teenager, 20s, working his way up the criminal cabal. Um, and it did so much of the work for me, man, it really did. Uh, that's amazing. You think we'll ever see the, uh, the monocle, the classic? I'm not sure. I don't know. I'm not sure. I might have tried it on a couple of times, and I know we went back and forth a bit. I'm not sure. Maybe. That'd be an interesting little costume piece, John. Uh, loved your version of Falco.